Hi, my name is Ivo van der Zand, SAP Global Analytics. And in this video, I will show you some of the use cases where I believe the SAP Lumira 2.0 interoperability capabilities are so important for you to use. Interoperability in SAP Lumira 2.0 between discovery and the designer module are a real game changer. Have a look at the use cases and send me your feedback using my website www.evorvanderzand.com. Thanks for watching. The first use case I want to show you is the uh, pimping of a storyboard. <clears throat> what you see on the screen is a uh, sales storyboard for products that are sold per region. Uh, so there are various hierarchies. We have sales numbers unit numbers, uh, returns. And uh, what I've done over here to make it a bit more complex, I um, added a second data set with per manager, uh, a lookup table with seniority, the age. I created a hierarchy in that uh, lookup table and I, um, I linked both of the, the data sets, which gives me the following dashboard, a, uh, a cost tab where I use the custom grouping over here, advanced, junior, senior. I uh, had a drill down per uh, manager, so you can drill from seniority into the manager and uh, measures from both data sets. So sales and margin are from the original sales data set. The age is from the lookup table. On the right hand side, you see a few graphs and one of them has uh, advanced color coding in there. So uh, it has a formula where uh, I have the uh, moving average for sales. I have a delta color coded green and red with the difference towards the moving average. I have a reference line. So all kinds of, um, I would say, advanced things you can do in a storyboard. Um, and now my aim is to uh, make the cost tab, cost tab driving the other graphs. So we call that cross chart filtering. So what I've done, I've saved this storyboard as Lumiere 20 sales performance. And if I now go to uh, the designer module, which you can see over here, I created an uh, application and I just dragged and drop my sales performance storyboard into the application, which you see over here. And the element I want to show you in terms of pimping is the following. I select my cost tab. As you can see over here, here's my cost tab selected. And I went to the properties and uh, just uh, applied a very simple uh, script lining with uh, the following on select schema to set a filter for certain sources. And these sources, number six, seven, and eight, apply to the other graphs that you can see over here. For example, this, if I select this one, this is number six. Um, I just, the only thing I do, I just save the story over here. If I now go back to my storyboard, you can see that uh, at first sight, nothing has changed until I click uh, the different elements that I defined just in designer. So if I now click advanced, you will see that it drives the other graphs. If I click junior, you will see that it now drives the other ones. I can also control click and multi-select. Yeah, so this is a very nice way, a very simple uh, way to pimp your dashboard doing cross chart filtering, only quickly bringing your storyboard into designer apply um, some scripting lines that are very simple and guided. It is guided scripting, by the way, um, which allows you to uh, better your storyboard. A second use case for interoperability using SAP Lumira 2.0 uh, might be uh, the use of various storyboards into one enterprise dashboard. And uh, to give you an example, I'm uh, going to reuse the pimped storyboard that we uh, just saw. This one with uh, sales performance, two blended data sets and interactivity. Uh, so this will be number one. So the L Lumira 2.0 sales performance dashboard. And the second one is another example that I have. It is an example of, uh, well, let's take 
<clears throat> this one, it is uh, some financial data. They um, they have, uh, to be honest, uh, no relation, but I just use it as a sample. This one is another pimped dashboard with some metrics on uh, financial figures where I can, uh, as you can see over here, again, click the various components that drive others. So I'm going to use these two. What I've done is the following. So the fan demo script, that is my second. I go back to my designer module. And uh, over here, I created this application, which I called Lumira 2.0 Multiple Storyboards. And uh, if I uh, open that application, you see um, the first storyboard I've dragged into here. But what I've done is the following. As you can see, here I created a uh, little application with a page book with two pages. And in page one, I created uh, the, story, the first storyboard. And in the second one, I took in the second storyboard over here uh, with the financial numbers. I uh, pimped it a little bit more. I added uh, some groupings over there and a uh, calendar picker. And if I now run this application over here, I uh, bring it into the screen right now so you can see it. So this is my um, new enterprise dashboard based interactive, as you can see, based upon two different uh, storyboards because I can simply go to the right. And over here, you see my second one that we just saw. So this is very powerful. It means that you can... Uh, create various stories on various data sets using discovery and bring them together, for example, in a use case for a management cockpit where you want to have a look at purchasing data, storyboard number one, together with marketing data, storyboard number two, together with financial data, storyboard number three, all combined into one enterprise dashboard and eventually linked if you want to. Again, the uh, designer module allows for the uh, additional professionalization. So some buttons over here to make selections or a calendar picker that can all be done. But the point I wanna make is that it's very easy and a very strong use case to use various storyboards into one enterprise dashboards. And that saves you an enormous amount of time creating that dashboard. So I think uh, definitely one to have a look at. The next use case I'd like to discuss with you is the use case about uh, standardization and branding of uh, the layout of everything you use. And uh, again, I'm going to reuse the uh, multiple storyboards that we uh, just saw. Two reused storyboards into my designer application. And uh, what I've done over here is that I used the uh, basic template, but I can easily create my own template. This basic template comes with a, uh, a blue colored header page. Um, and I can, for example, change uh, the text. So uh, if I say, well, I want to name this uh, for all my dashboards, I want to name this as follows, demo. In the same way, I could also, for example, add an image if I wish or uh, add other things. Um, I can do full CSS styling or use a style sheet. Uh, but if I now run the application, I think um, the example says enough. You will see the results embedded, uh, as you can see over here. So my little uh, adjustment to the template using the word demo is now applied. And also for my second storyboard size. So you see it applies for, uh, for all the elements in my new dashboard. The next use case I want to show you is especially meant for the data analysts amongst you. One of the powerful features uh, that I like in um, Discovery is the data mashup and data enrichment capabilities. It allows you to quickly join, blend, or even link uh, various data sets of various data types. So I can easily connect a BW data set towards a data set that accesses a universe to uh, together with an Excel file, for example. Well, to simulate that, I picked up a data set with um, some store performance details for renting um, games and DVDs. And I have a lookup table over there that uh, gives me 
the name of the studio that produced the DVD, so Warner Brothers or Disney or whatever. And what I've done, I use the uh, blending, merging, uh, excuse me, merging um, data set facility to link uh, both of these. So uh, I've done that in this way. It's linked based on title, so control click. So you see that I have a match and I merged this data set which now delivers me the studio name over here in the original details data set. So uh, <clears throat> I created a uh, simple analysis, revenue and target by studio, and I did some, some custom groupings on genres. The linking um, is being reused in Designer, and I will show you that by opening this story in Designer. Over here, I've opened that data set. So let me double click it. And if I now have a look at the source data, uh, so this is the storyboard that I picked up, which as mentioned, composes of two merged data sets. If I go to the data sources over here and I click it, you will see that if I pick up the initial view, you will see over here that the studio now is part of my data set. Meaning, and that's the point I want to make in this use case, that all the merging, linking and blending that you do and you can prepare in Lumira 2.0 Discovery is completely reused automatically for you in designer and that saves an enormous amount of time the developers amongst you will know what i mean so you can now quickly bring your various data sets together using discovery just open that storyboard in designer and you can further work on an enterprise dashboard like you want last use case i'm going to show you is the uh, professionalization of a uh, storyboard into an enterprise dashboard and again this uh, professionalization can do in countless ways i just show you one example of the capabilities looking at a storyboard that looks to financial performance with a number of key metrics and what i've created is the first uh, per month a, uh, a graph with revenue and budget also a similar graph with a split per PL element line and I, make a, I made a second page that uh, looks a little bit at a pie chart and there was a chart with um, some heat maps and my aim is to further professionalize this very simple uh, mock-up. Well, I uh, spent some additional time bringing this storyboard uh, to uh, Lumira 2.0 Designer and uh, created in a uh, limited amount of time this example, which you can see over here. Um, so what I have is uh, I further professionalized the dashboard with some of the capability. I'll just to uh, show you one, if I click now this tile, uh, it comes up with a graph over here. And again, there's still some work on it, but uh, I build in the interactivity, as you can see. Um, I uh, can also uh, click again this chart and um, uh, this tile and my charts disappear. The second one I added a uh, with a smart copy function, uh, some elements from analysis for office in there too with color coded elements. Click that away and over here I have an overview graph that I created with the smooth and lines. There's also dynamic text uh, over here. Click this away. One of the things that you might like is that the errors, color-coded errors, um, compare the metric to the uh, previous month. So uh, the revenue is going up towards the previous month, as well as the forecast accuracy and the budget gap is closing down. However, if I, for example, click a specific country, let's click Switzerland, then you see that the borders of the screen now also change, uh, and they now indicate the comparison towards the previous Quark. yeah so uh, again i can click the chart and show further details go back to the uh, the full overview if i go to the second page what you see over there is that i uh, combined a drill down in this pie together with a cross uh, chart filtering meaning that if i drill down into for example local expenses 
Um, I will see also uh, my heat map drilling down. Um, furthermore, before I do that, um, I will show you that we also used a chart pick over here so I can change my chart into a bar chart, for example, or into bubbles or a uh, weather chart, whatever. Let's bring it back to a pie and now show you the drill down example. If I uh, click that one, you see that uh, also my accompanying heat map drills with me. So this is all elements that you can do with uh, professionalization of your charts. For example, creating over here this very powerful heat map, um, cross tab, excuse me. So um, this, um, what you see over here is that I can simply um, drag and drop various elements and allow my end user to uh, have a look at, uh, for example, uh, all my PL lines per country. But uh, way more interesting is that I, for example, also can do a drill down to, uh, let's take the very lowest level in this one, for example, my order level. So this means that I have a drill anywhere and I can even go to the order level and look at the various details of my analysis or even swap um, the, the view to, uh, to another view. Um, over here you see a view with uh, some color coding trend indicators that I applied over here. All examples of professionalization, very easily done in Design Studio uh, with even a scorecard if you wish on my left hand side. Um, so the possibilities are countless. I refer to my website to have a look on uh, specifically the designer aspect of Lumira 2.0, which uh, has uh, hardly any limits. Thanks for watching.